Hey, what's up, guys? Your average worker is back with another video of World of Warships, and today I'm going to be featuring a tier 10 premium aircraft carrier, the Maximilman. And I mean, it's one of those German premiums that is definitely really, really interesting. So I'm going to be explaining just a bit that how to play that ship, and it's uh, probably not the most favorite of my carriers in my opinion but it still have these really really nice skip bombs as you can able to see pretty unique in the game uh, these skip bombs jump towards the target to get to do damage and if you can look at the stats well these are having 11,000 damage alpha damage which are having 63 percent fire chance which is slightly better than midway i would say so they are really comparable to those bombs but instead of just uh, dive bombers that you know they drop the payload well we have these skip bombers that drop onto our target like the skips that it does so as you can able to see uh, i did some good damage to that john bard uh, and obviously uh, as you can able to see i started the game just a bit a bit late like i started it from 15 minutes and uh, the reason why uh, that is uh, to basically able to show you the intense gameplay that uh, will be coming and I mean it's coming right now so that's where I'm gonna be able to show you the things that you need to see here uh, you can able to see already that uh, there is a couple of destroyers like small one which is actually having a very really decent AA and then there is Yushino that is trying to push towards the A along with Yamato and Preussen and in this situation we probably have a really bad or terrible situation right now because not only that the A flank is kind of compromised pushed by a lot of battleships we also have the C flank that is completely compromised but the second thing of the maximum is these torpedo bombers as you can able to see these torpedo bombers have this sort of uh, drop payload and well in this situation I'm not able to do that much but let me show you the torpedo bomber stats after using the skip bombs so skip bombs I mean they are one of the most versatile skip bombs in the game I will be able to showcase how are they really really are strong against destroyers like there will be a situation where you can able to see like a destroyer get chunked for uh, almost 10,000 which is pretty devastating to be honest and that's why these skip bombers are really effective against destroyers if they are broadside and obviously very good in starting fires because the fire chance as I have said well uh, if I haven't said well it's 16 like 63 percent which is pretty pretty high so these skip bombers if they land to a target well they will do massive damage not only that but they will do also good fires so <coughs> sorry so the, you can able to see that the yoshino taken a massive damage uh, not the massive but two skip bombs are enough to kill this uh, blue hp yoshino and he is dead uh coming up to the torpedo mobbers as you can able to see the uh, the torpedo mobbers have heals uh, as well as well they're having decent torpedo damage i mean it's not the best i would say like 4700 isn't that much impressive but at least they are fast planes you know almost 210 knots slightly better than how could you torpedo bombers i mean in terms of speed i would say but overall these torpedo bombers uh, are kind of weird um I'm not, i don't like them because well they have really wide sort of uh, gap between the torpedoes itself and you drop the payload and that's why i don't really like this, uh, these uh, torpedo bombers but and also I mean they have not the best of the HP to be honest pretty pretty uh, mediocre sort of HP but as you can able to see well these torpedo bombers having a very very fast preparation time it's almost a minute so you can able to uh, get a whole lot of planes in this case I'm just dropping this small one which is basically moving towards Holland to kill him and well he's not trying to dodge torpedoes as such but he's but he's just moving at a really really fast speed which you can able to clearly see like I just didn't manage to get a lot of torpedoes but at least two torpedoes does hurt and that basically give Holland quite a bit of a you know help and he managed to kill that small end at the end just because of the HGV advantage again uh, you can able to see the strength of the CVs are really really the support that you can do with your firepower and maximum does pretty much exactly that the Yamagiri is also here, we killed the small one, that was actually a very good thing to see because that small one is actually, you know, it's very threatening to be honest because that's what he can do really. Uh, as you can able to see right now, I'm using skip bombers towards the Yamagiri but then I got spotted which basically make me think that uh, what actually happened. 
and obviously as with every destroyer that is trying to push towards the camp or like spawn I would say well it's gonna be <laughs> pretty interesting that uh, what's gonna happen to him I know that uh, that destroyer is definitely around the IJ-65 line because that's where my planes will be able to get, I mean they will get detected eventually and you will be able to see what I'm talking about so the, so the planes get detected around like 5J or basically I-6 area and now you can able to see that uh, we spotted the Z-46 and this guy well somehow he doesn't know what he's doing and look at the damage oh my goodness that is 11,000 damage full HP gone he's trying to go for the cheeky snipe on CV but that's one of the strengths of, uh, of our carriers that they can easily able to counter destroyers that are pushing towards CV because obviously CVs get spotted they will eventually be able to spot the DD in return just like in this case and he is dead the game's gonna get pretty interesting because unfortunately it's gonna be a loss but you will be able to see my aggressive positioning will help me to at least kill almost all the ships except CV because that would be the guy remaining the Ristofan obviously is also a very good player so keep that in mind so there are two carrier players that are playing really really nice like at least uh, as you can able to see right now so here uh, to these torpedo bombers I have one he left and then there is Poison that is pushing uh, towards the middle of AB and well I start to use the heal because I want to save my planes but that Poison that is pushing well these torpedoes well having a really good arming distance and that Poison obviously tried to turn in to basically dodge most of my torpedoes well he still managed to eat three tops which is pretty good only did I mean 10,000 damage but at least we get some sort of results and obviously with that said the Poison instantly turns out because he realized that the threat is too much and he cannot able to tank that much firepower that is coming towards him including me doing damage and getting confronted right now so the game is not over yet and it's gonna be pretty interesting with these bombs and only torpedo bombers well you have still pretty good versatility very good fire starter like these skip bombs can be very very decent in fire starting capabilities and obviously these torpedo bombers that I think not the best but they are not the worst to be honest and in this case just letting you know that the Poison has damage control two fires and a flood and now he's basically having no damage control and that's where skip bombs gonna be pretty much really really devastating because a fire will basically mean that 18,000 HP of Poison will not gonna be enough to basically make him survive drop this guy drop on the superstructure as as easy as possible and that's why I get three penetration hits and a single fire and obviously these skip bombers they work in a way that uh, the planes well they able to survive big time because not getting into the middle aura actually helps in these players to survive and obviously that uh, skips that it does like two skips the second sip does a lot much good because that will save quite a lot of HP for these planes because well the drop or the payload that I'm dropping from skip bombs is basically outside or almost like 3.5 kilometer to 4 kilometer ish so it's outside the middle ish very strong continuous AA area like it's not touching that these those planes and that's why it helps a lot unfortunately our team uh, didn't trying or managing themselves to able to survive in this case and well unfortunately I saw that the Rodla Island having a really really big trouble with that Yamagiri dropping this guy I have instantly realized it just like Z46 that I can spot the Yamagiri and in this case well he smoked up and the Rhode Island obviously also have radar so I just sent the torpedoes I sent the torpedoes well he basically uh, put himself pretty much stationary here and well he eat a torpedo and somehow he survived but hopefully that the roll island will kill the Yamagiri which actually pretty pretty feels good again the team enemy team is constantly pushing and that Egir is also doing a job where he's trying to do something pushing hard uh, well as you can able to see I was kited away in my carrier and now I have decided to push it back the towards the island target. and that island would be a rejoice for me or something that will be helping me so much in the game again using the skip bombs did 150k damage which is pretty good but still it's almost 15 minutes 
so I mean I can't say much here uh, could be a lot better but uh, in this situation that much damage is still pretty good John Bird for some reason he's basically trying to dodge those skip bombs which is actually the way to counter the maximum effectively and in this case you have seen that the John Bard did eat him uh, one you know skip bombs but that's not basically enough uh, drop the second set and well I got a fire because fire chance of the you know it's pretty good of this uh, skip bombs so the John Bard is not damage controlling the fire but I know that I have to do something about this guy but now he damage control so you can clearly able to see uh, John Bart will constantly will try to dodge these torpedoes as much as possible but since you have two sets well he can dodge one set but he can't really able to dodge the second and in this case you will be able to clearly see that what I'm talking about he done a good torpedo damage from the bow and this set that I'm gonna drop well he's gonna be broad signing because well he dodged one set but the Holland what he did is actually able to kill the John Bart by just shooting and only two of us are remaining so you can able to see that this game isn't going anywhere there we where we want the eager <laughs> and in, in this case there are two eager that are basically well trying to uh, get their you know gap closer to take on cb which is actually not the best of the thing when a cb is basically having a really really strong position using the islands as cover it could be pretty tough and in this case eager what he is trying is trying to basically uh, go towards the left side so that he can able to manage my broad side and you can able to see what he's doing here uh, well right now I have a really decent position at the moment cut double fire which he instantly damage control and he's trying to get towards the well left side because he wants broad side and that's where I have to keep dropping the torpedo bombers or bombers to basically ensure him to basically turn it in so he won't be able to manage that so <laughs> And you can able to see he tries to dodge turn in and basically not able to get my broadside and which basically helps me in getting the position again where i can able to drop this guy pretty much now a flat broadside because he dodged one set of torpedo just like john bar did and the other set obviously it's going to be very much impossible to dodge that so he's he's basically got his like his engine is gone down and he got a flood that's a permanent flood by the way but still just to kill this guy on on the safe side well i did basically kill him unfortunately our holland is dead and well there is one eager and carrier remaining unfortunately and obviously with all the carriers here right now like if i'm not able to kill the carrier we will lose the game i also have to kill the eager this eager right now as well but right now the position as you can able to see that they are trying to get towards the target as much as possible you can able to see now here that well, he eat all four torpedoes did almost 12,000 damage and i mean his engine got uh, messed up there and now he does not have damage control party remaining because he want to close the gap as fast as possible but well if i get a fire here which i will possibly able to get that as you can able to see this got double fire and he is dead so every sort of push that the enemy team did well that basically didn't work and this is something that you should understand whenever you try to push any CV even maximum man or even in this case Nakimov could be pretty devastating but uh, maximum man is still pretty ridiculously good Been able to see the carrier able to defend defend himself pretty well and I still have uh, torpedo bombers and uh, skip bombers right now which I will try to do some damage against Yustofan but at this point I know that the game is over the HP pool of that uh, CB is basically a bit too high that I cannot able to manage to kill this guy right now so yeah just gonna try to get a perfect drop on Ristofan and uh, well I need torpedo bombers since the skip bombs uh, they're not the best against the uh, German carriers because well they eventually will shatter on the broadside somehow sometimes because because of the armor ski for of Ristofan and Maximilman um, so they, they're so, sort of having a bit of a thicker armor and as you can able to see well it has 68 millimeter arm, armor penetration capacity which is basically sometimes not enough around some platings of Ristofan broadside so uh, regardless I decided to drop this uh, CV regardless like want to get as much damage as possible and uh, well I got one penetration but it didn't done much and only 20 seconds remaining 
The game is about to end, but Maximilian is really, really decent carrier. I have no doubt that uh, it's a decent cool ship if you haven't bought that carrier. Very good German carrier to buy if you haven't bought this ship. I think it's uh, after Malta. After Malta, I think if you love to play carriers, I think uh, sorry, the Maximilian is better or good for you. After Malta, because Malta is way better than Maximilian. But Maximilian has its own strengths and weaknesses. Well, as you can be able to see, I cannot manage to kill that carrier. Didn't have enough time. Anyways, it was a defeat, but you have seen the strengths and weaknesses. The skip bombers have really good fire chance. Got a couple of floods as well and killed a lot of engines <laughs> along the way with torpedoes. So, um, team score. Well, on the top, basically very close to the Rhode Island in terms of, you know, base XP. But you can able to see the enemy Ristofan did also well and well props to him. He also carried the game for the for the team. So I hope you able to understand just a bit of a gameplay that how I play. I play aggressive and I play sometimes, you know, uh, in a way that uh, helps to, you know, make the CV having a lot of value when it comes to do damage. So you have seen that in this gameplay. I hope you like the gameplay. If you like the gameplay, please comment, subscribe, and like. And I will catch you into the next one. Peace out.